Well, I have a book here called The Oxford Companion to the Supreme Court of the United States, and let's see what it has to say about the right to travel. So this is under the topic and discussion of right to travel. In 1955, a lower federal court recognized the right to travel as a natural right protected by the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment. And there's a maxim of law that states, if you don't know your rights, you don't have any. But don't try to shit on the people who know their rights and enforce the rights and try to make them look crazy. Book reference, maxim of law. If a person neglect to insist on his rights, he is deemed to have abandoned it. No right is held more sacred or is more carefully guarded by the common law than the right of every individual to the possession and control of his own person, free from all restraint or interference of others, unless by clear or unquestionable authority of law. It is ignorance of the law when we do not know our own rights. Ignorance of those things which one is bound to know excuses not. Ignorance of the law excuses no one, for all are bound to know the law.